you don't really think about these things. You just go off the cusp and just have a bit of fun in there, right? What a suit. The blue pinstripe. I really like that suit, I have to say. It's one of my favorite ones. I've worn it a couple of times. Usually I don't wear them multiple times after, but this one I wore. When I knock people out, they don't move. Who the f is that guy? Who the f is that? You know damn well who I am. Who the f is that? <laughs> ah, I, of course, I knew who Jeremy was. You know, Jeremy was a good fighter. Um, was a former lightweight, then down into the featherweight division. Good power in his hands. But <laughs> the timing was just impeccable there, and that was it. <laughs> you don't really think about these things. You just go off the cusp and just have a bit of fun in there, right? And I was in a great spot there. Just, just uh, avenged my loss against Nate Diaz, a lot of hard work went into that. And then I was, you know, uh, I was preparing for the second world title bout and I was just in a great spot mentally and physically and, I don't know, I just rolled up the tongue and clattered old Jeremy into the cheek. <laughs> if Dana rang you and said, you don't have to fight Cerrone, you can fight McGregor, even though Cerrone was still fit, would you take it? You're damn right you take of it. Of course, man. Easy money. <laughs> Easy money, man. He had the opportunity, El Rafael, didn't he? But he didn't take it. Well, he took it, but he didn't make the walk. So, you know yourself. He just saw a foot. I had one of them recently as well. But he still made the walk. So. Rich. Break out the red panties. We're rich, baby. So don't say you would not take that fight because you would take that fight like everyone else up here would take the fight against me if it was offered, regardless of belts or any of that shit. I'm the money fight in the male, male at all weight division, so everybody else up here. As, it's as true now as it was back then, you know, it's probably even more truer now. You know what I mean? I have to build myself into a position and that's a good thing. I was not lying. I don't, I do not lie. Oh, I teed him up so nice. I put the feet up, then he mimicked them when he put the feet up, his hands were nowhere to protect the belt, and I just snatched it off the table. Another good buzz, that was in my hometown, Dublin, Ireland. What a buzz, it was the first time we'd had something of that magnitude in Ireland, right? We had the undefeated champion, Jose Aldo, undefeated in 10 years, the only UFC featherweight champion, a mega star. And then me on the rise and from the hometown. Good times again, good times. Coaches kids do tattoo on a Sunday morning and goes on bike rides with the elderly. He makes gun signs with the right hand and animal balloons with the left hand. So I, 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 I'm a, you're a credit to the community. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't give a f Nate's great. It was great to share the it was great to share the arena with Nate on both occasions. I have nothing but respect for Nate and, and Nick, you know, I wish them well. We bounced off each other well, me and Nate. Two of the same. In a way, not all the way, but in a way. I'd love to do the trilogy at some stage. Connor, Connor has no right coming up to 55. There's no way he's not gonna stand a chance. We're too big for him, we're too strong, so you can take your little English ass and you know. <laughs> too slow and too stiff. You're stiff as a board. I, I, I give him an A for effort, right? He tried, I suppose, Al Donald. He got it wrong there, right? I was too small to go to 155. What did I do when I went up to 155? Put in the best performance in a UFC championship fight in history. So he was wrong a couple of times on that night, you know. Said about the Aldo fight, I couldn't get you Aldo. Listen, you're here now. You have a monster right here at 45. Aldo about to beat your ass. You beat nobody. You think you're going to come at 155 make a statement? Come on. He tried Al Donald, right? But he was wrong, he was wrong multiple times on that, on that day. It's up there, so. But Donald was actually actually saying that like I saw, I saw him he saw me backstage and didn't say anything and all this stuff. And then there's actually images that have been resurfaced just recently since the belt was made. And I'm just laid back chilling with my hands in my pocket like he's standing there. No, it's it's not emotional. I have a bit of respect for Donald. Truth be told, you know, like how can you not? Since since that time, right? He's gone. He's fought how many times since that damn press conference? About oh, twenty times. How can you not give it? But how can you? Not tip the hat to that. He's also a father, I'm a father, you know what I mean? Whatever, we'll see how it goes. Like, I, I don't really plan these things, I, I just roll with it and I'll have fun, like always.